soon. It may be fall, but in Texas, it's like, I mean, it's not even that hot outside. It's just that the AC is still running, of course. But I digress. This video is about my fall essentials and what I think is crucial to have during the fall. I have a few things to go through, so I'm just going to start off with the makeup. It's a personal preference, but I think that the first essential thing for fall is dark slash red lipstick. I got this from Zoe of Zoella, her YouTube channel. I'm sure everyone knows her. But um, this is just the Rimmel London Kate Moss lipsticks, and this one is in the number 107. It's the red packaging. I don't know if there's, I mean, I'm guessing that this is just the Kate Moss line, and that's why it's red. See? Little Kate logo. But that's, I, this is the most, af well, yeah, this is the most affordable one, and it is probably my favorite. And then next, sometimes when I want this to be darker, I'll put this over it, and this is a NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream. And this is in the color Copenhagen, and this is a really dark color, but I thrive off of that. Kate Moss one right there. Sorry if I'm looking over here, I'm trying to make sure it's like in the frame, and then I'm pointing to everything. And then this is the Copenhagen, the Soft Matte Lip Cream. These smell really good. They smell like vanilla to me, almost. This is another Soft Matte Lip Cream by NYX, and it is, this one is in the color Transylvania. And this is more of like purple. See? This is what I wore on prom for my red lips, and then I put it in the center of my lips today. See that one at the very top? That is Ruby Woo, Kate Moss, Copenhagen, Transylvania. So then the next one, which is, it's, it's really dark in the tube, but it's very sheer, and it's a cream lipstick. Yeah, it's a cream finish. So this is Black Cherry by Revlon, number 477. Yeah, see the Transylvania is actually darker than that one, but if you can see it, it's the one on the bottom. This is my Macaroon Lipstick by NYX in Chambord. I feel like that's like a French word, which I should know how to pronounce because I took French, but I'm Heather reminds me time and time again about how horrible I am at pronouncing French words, so... But <laughs> anyway, there it is. It's just black. And I'd say it's like a cream finish. I think it's awesome to have like a matte black eyeliner. And that's whether you prefer it in a pencil, a cream, or gel, or liquid. I just prefer cream and gel because that's just what I've worked with the most and what I'm the most comfortable with. And I know that it'll dry matte. And this one is waterproof. I don't know, I just think there's something so classically pretty about having winged eyeliner and red lips in the fall and winter because it's so cute. So, miscellaneous. Ooh, this is exciting. But candles, candles are so essential, you guys. Not really. Cranberry Woods from Bath and Body Works is my favorite scent of all time. This is, oh, uh, this is, <laughs> is Dolce from Bath and Body Works. I think I got this around Christmas time last year and it's still here for me. But I'm just so excited to burn these this fall. Oh! And then this one is espresso. Oh, oh that is strong. Oh, it smells so good though. So, you can't go wrong with twinkly candles and like fairy lights in the background and stuff. And you need a good hot drink recipe, whether it's hot chocolate or a really nice cup of coffee or pumpkin spice latte. I actually, my sister and I, made a crock pot version of that. I'll maybe I'll link down below my like a recipe to it, you know. So Heather and I made puppy chow. If you don't know what that is, I will link a recipe below because it is the bomb. It is a, ugh, it is my favorite thing in the fall. My last miscellaneous essential for fall is a good scary movie. Where we're coming into October, we're coming into the colder seasons and Halloween time. And I just think that scary movies are such a good, they go hand in hand with cold weather because you can snuggle up and watch a scary movie and be like, go oh, with your puppy chow and your pumpkin spice latte and just be like, oh my gosh. Now onto clothing. The biggest thing I can say, or the most important, most potent, most prevalent thing I can say about that is that I think that for this fall, for myself personally, and maybe for you too, 
I you should have a statement piece of clothing with each outfit. So I have this red and black. Is this tartan print or is this checkered print? I'm not sure. But it's just a shirt that this was pretty cheap. It was like 10 bucks at Forever 21. But but I, what I like about it is that it's like crop a crop's length and it's boxy and it's super it's such a bright red that it would make a statement. So I really like this metallic sweater. It's just such a statement, again. I'm probably gonna be saying that like 10 billion times throughout this video. And another cardigan slash coat slash, this isn't heavy enough to be a coat, it's kind of just like a over outerwear thing. But it's from H&M and it is this gorgeous, fuzzy, off-white jacket thing. I love this sweater so much. I got this off of Chicwish, I think around Thanksgiving last year, and I love it so much. Again, it's black, but the gold sequins I feel like bring up the interest level a bit. I have this other sweater that I saw on a blogger called Kara Lauren. She, her, I think her name is Kara Von Brocklin, but her website is called KaraLauren.com, and I always love her out outfits. I get inspiration from her all the time. And I saw her wear this sweater with just some black jeans and some black flats. And I was sold. I had to buy it. And it was from Chicwish as well. It is this pink scarf that Heather got for me for Christmas, I think two years ago. And it's the puffiest, cutest little pink scarf ever. Well, it's not little. It's pretty big, which I like. It's awesome. And it came with these adorable gloves. Oh, they're so cute. They're way too big for me, but they're still cute and I still wear them. And this is probably my most worn item of clothing in the fall and winter, as you can see. Well, maybe you can't see, but there are a few places on it that are worn, but it's just a, I, it's not real leather. I'm pretty sure. Cause it wasn't that expensive, but um, it's just a black motorcycle jacket, I guess. And it's just this huge, chunky knit sweater from Forever 21. It is awesome. On the opposite end of the spectrum for fall essentials, I would say that you need basics. And of course, all this uh, statement items were optional. They were just examples that I consider to be statement flashy items. Black cami, because all those were pretty much like coats and cardigans and jackets and things and cardigans just go perfectly underneath those. So this is just a black one from, from Forever 21. Perfect. This, I think, is the perfect skirt to wear under sweaters with some knee-high socks, boots, and your right as rain. I'm a little bit embarrassed to admit these, this, but these were my mom's in like the 90s. They're just black sandal type shoes that you can, can easily convert into fall wear with some socks or tights and I think they're so cute. And then I just recently got these actually. These are just like some fake Doc Martens because I do not have the money for Doc Martens at the moment. So I just went with these because I've been wanting a pair of boots like these and I feel like they are, wait for it, statement boots. Oh man, I keep saying that word. And they're these similar to the first pair that I showed you, but they're like a more, I don't know, like a more polished version of that, I'd say. So I was wanting a way to wear skirts and dresses in the winter without a, getting too cold, and B, showing off my fair legs. I really don't like myself with pale skin, but I'm trying to embrace it and get used to it. So I bought some knee-high socks. That was my solution, and I absolutely love them. Mine were from H&M, and I believe you got a pack of two for $10, I believe. And then the tights I also got were from H&M. It was a pack of two again, and those were only $6, I think. And they're just some sheer black tights, which I think are so... They're, they're such great staples to have in your wardrobe because it can instantly change the way an outfit looks and it complete it can complete an outfit instantly. I hope you enjoyed these ideas, I guess, that I had for fall essentials and maybe it got you in the spirit for Christmas time and Halloween and Thanksgiving. I know it got me in the spirit. I am about to go drink some coffee and watch a scary movie. I am so excited! Ugh. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and a comment and whoa! Please subscribe if you feel like it. Don't feel obligated to. Ignore my hair. <laughs> I will see you all in the next video.